So here we go. Good evening, good evening, and welcome along to Monday night's Late Call here on City Beat at 96.7 and 102.5 FM. And of course, we're also right round the country on DAB Digital and online as well, 24-7 at citybeat.co.uk. So good evening, good evening. How are you tonight? It's myself, Robin Elliott, live with you right through until 1. Starting us off tonight, the cars and drive and the noise and don't upset the rhythm. So the phone lines are open for business. So right now, if you want to get in touch, we would love to hear from you. 92-36-967 gets you through to me. You can text 87474. Just grab your mobile, start your message with City Beats, then leave a space, and then text away. 87474. If you're online tonight, you can email as well, studio at citybeat.co.uk, or why not check us out on Facebook as well. So what's coming up on a Late Call tonight? Well, we get the latest uh, goings on from the jungle. Katie Price arrived in I'm a Celeste. Celebrity, get me out of here tonight. I'll be talking about that a little bit later on. We're going to talk music with Stuart McQuitty and uh, the Lady Boys of Bangkok are in Belfast at the minute. Have you been to see the show? If you have, what did you think of it? And what do you think of the Lady Boys coming to Belfast? Uh, your thoughts and comments on that, please. I just heard what you said there. That is a really selfish attitude. You know, uh, to me, she's, she's using him for what she can get off him, but wants nothing to do with him. It seems that way, doesn't it? Yeah, sorry, I had to comment on that. He thought, <laughs> no. She's got you wound up tonight, hasn't she? Did she did heckles her up here. I can tell. She really did. Yeah. And if I was him, I'd ditch her. Well, I think so as well. But he, he's got the best of both worlds, hasn't he? He's got the wife at home. Yeah. Who is washing his knickers and his stuff. Yes. Uh, pick his boxes up off the floor and have his dinner ready when he comes home from work. And then he can go away to Mauritius and have uh-huh, a weekend with away his, with his uh, bit in the side. Mm. No, that's that's not right. No. One's as bad as the other. Maybe they both deserve each other. <laughs> <laughs> do you feel better now? I do. Oh, I'm sorry, Robin. <laughs> Now, tonight I've been joined by Warren Coates from the Northern Ireland Paranormal Research Association and we sent Warren on a little uh, travel around the City Beta building here on the Ormer Road which uh, used to be an old church to see if there's any kind of paranormal activity. Warren, you're back with us. Mm-hmm. What did you find? A uh, couple of things, Rob and I. There's a few sort of things that came to us whenever I walked around. I had a good walk around the building down to the bottom and then up to the top floor and then towards the kitchen and all at the back. At the bottom floor, just sort of when you come in the building and go left... I picked up on a gentleman. Now, he's quite badly burnt. Now, from what I was picking up, there has been a fire, a fire in this building at some stage. Now, obviously, I don't know the history of it. I would like to sort of look back and research the history of it and try and find out. To me, this guy looks as if he's been grounded here. Mm-hmm. So, as there's stuff, and I there were, um, didn't get a name for him, didn't get anything. But he was quite, I would say, people walking through that area would be quite aware of him. <laughs> Now, Des, one of the reasons why I wanted to get into show business was uh, watching your TV chat show throughout the years and watching you sit and interview some of, you know, Hollywood's A-list stars, some of the world's biggest music stars. Was there anybody in those chat shows that ever turned you down? Because you seem to have everybody possible on the show. There were a couple, I mean, that never made it that were booked. We had Frank Sinatra booked not once, but twice. Wow. Both times, one for a business reason, one for an illness. And we had Michael Jackson booked once, but he got some kind of illness in Paris. Those those two and probably Madonna were about the only three that slipped through the net. All the rest, of the, it's been fantastic. I remember driving in one day because we used to sometimes tape two shows throughout a day, some in the afternoon, some in the evening. Yeah. And I remember thinking, tonight I'm going to be talking to Tony Blair, who just become Prime Minister, Barbara Streisand, Tina Turner, uh, Lionel Richie. Then one night we had Sylvester Stallone and Arnold Schwarzenegger on the same evening. But we were told by their management, don't let them meet. So we put one on at eight o'clock and one on at half past nine to tape them. <laughs> <laughs> Now we'll have a brand new Daily Dilemma on the way after 11. And to start us off tonight, what would you like to talk about on the show? What uh, topics have got you talking throughout Monday? And, um, well, how was your Monday? It was a horrible wet day here in Belfast. So what has really annoyed you? What has got on your nerves today? If you feel like having a rant, why not come on the air? Have your rant live on this show. And I think these days as well, and I'm speaking for myself, and I, but I know other guys as well, men like women with a little bit of meat on them these days, don't they? Yes, I know they do. They don't want stick insects. Thanks, Robin. 
I love you too. <laughs> no, they like curves. Yeah. They do like curves. <laughs> Uh, Richard Talbot has been in touch and uh, Richard says these attacks on the elderly have been happening nearly on a daily basis for the last few years. What's being done about it? Absolutely nothing at all. The three recent attacks certainly won't sadly be the last. Come on Northern Ireland, wake up and stamp these scumbags out. Of course, uh, Richard referring to a story that's been in the news all day today of an 82-year-old woman who's been describing how she beat off two intruders at her East Belfast home with a floor brush. He said to me, put that brush down. I says, I'll put it down all right. And then I had a case sitting up on, on my back room. When I was coming down the stairs, they threw the case behind me probably to try to trip me on the stairs. Now, Maisie Chapman found a man who claimed to be a policeman in her home at Oberon Street on a Saturday afternoon. After going upstairs, she found a second man ransacking a bedroom, and after the struggle, the men escaped empty-handed. <laughs> So the thing that uh, sent a DMAD today was uh, walking to the train in the rain, wasting money, sitting on the train with wet jeans to get into uni and only to find the lecture is cancelled. Debbie Watts says having to get buses to the health centre and then two buses to get home as the health centre I belong to is not on my bus route. And it used to be. OK, Colin McNally says uh, the thing that's winding him up is the price of a pint. Bars and clubs are seeing numbers falling, yet they still charge up to £3.40 for a pint in the city. Why do they think we all go to supermarkets and get a whole case for a tenner now? Cut your profits and get the crowds back, maybe. OK, thank you for that. On the text uh, tonight, uh, let's see, Lynn in Lisburn says, what annoyed me today was getting a parking fine despite having paid for a ticket because it blew upside down when I got out of the car.